One advantage of inline SVG is that they can be easily manipulated by JavaScript, opening the door to using PineGrow interactions. If we look at the interaction transition property menu, we can see that there's a number of SVG properties we can manipulate. So for example, if I just go ahead and pick this SVG, go ahead and add an interaction. Uh, not going to worry about this for right now, uh, but then go ahead and add, add animation. Go down here to SVG. We can see that we can uh, do things like change where uh, change the X and Y position of the um, the canvas. Uh, we can do some different uh, interactive drawings uh, with these as well. We can change the width, the height, and path length. We can also whoops uh, do things like change our stroke color our stroke width, our stroke opacity, the fill color, the fill opacity. So we can do an awful lot uh, using, using Pine Grow interactions. Two that uh, I think are really cool that make neat effects are the stroke dash array and the stroke dash offset. And these basically are ways that we can uh, animate the drawing of our SVG. And so I'm just going to walk through how you can do that. Let's take a quick look at the final product. I just have to open it up. So now if we go ahead and click on this, we can see that it draws the Pine Grow logo and brings the, the SVG interactions and the byline in uh, both with drawing and color changes. Okay, let's walk through making the animation that I just showed you. So going back over here uh, to my unanimated uh, page that already has the SVGs on it as well as the button for starting the animation. First thing I do is go down and select the actual logo path. Go ahead and add an interaction. Uh, so I should say that interactions is already activated for this page. Uh, then I can go ahead and give this a uh, name. So for a trigger, I'm going to select page and window and immediately when created. So I'm going to leave the target empty because uh, it's the uh, logo that um, it's, it's going to be this element. And then for animation, I'm going to click on uh, custom animation. So then on the timeline, go ahead and add a box. Uh, I'm going to change that to set. And then I'm going to add two different properties. Uh, first, I'm going to go to the SVG and for stroke dash array, I'm going to put 100%. And for stroke dash offset, I'm going to set it to 100%. So now you can see that that essentially has made my drawing of the logo disappear. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to do, you can see that there's still the starting points for each of the different paths within the logo. So to get rid of that, so that doesn't show up when the page loads until somebody clicks on the button, I'm also going to uh, add hide at start to this page or excuse me, to the logo. So now the um, logo is completely hidden until the animation starts. So next, uh, I'm going to select the button element. And then within the button element, I'm going to add an interaction. You can uh, name it if you want. For trigger, I'm going to select click on. And then for target, basically what I want to do is when, uh, when somebody clicks this, I want the target to be the logo. Uh, and so for uh, target, I'm going to go ahead and edit the selector. It's usually a little bit easier. Um, and we can see that down here that our, our uh, actual logo has an ID of PG logo. So in order to select that, I'm going to use the dollar sign and then pass in the ID. So now we've got uh, the, um, the logo selected. On the uh, timeline, uh, I'm going to add a new transition with the type of set. And 
and I'm going to add an auto opacity and set that to one. So that's going to take away that hide it start that's occurring on the logo. So next I'm going to add a um, additional block here to the timeline. This time it's going to be a tween and uh, I'm going to give it a position of zero and a duration of four. This is going to mean that it's going to draw our uh, logo over four seconds. You can pick any ease you want. Um, I'm going to uh, pick power one, ease in and out. And then I'm going to add a property of SVG and go to the stroke dash offset. And then I'm going to give it a value of zero. So that's going to basically allow that to uh, now appear. And we can see that if we go ahead and hit play, can see that that draws in quite nicely. And uh, we can also see that if we reload this page and click on our button, it also triggers that animation nicely. So I've also added, uh, as I said uh, in the final one, uh, different animations to this SVG interactions title as well as to the byline. And if you want to see how to do those, I've added the uh, finished project uh, onto the web page. You can go ahead and download that uh, from the written tutorial and look at how I accomplish this on your own. But mostly just, just experiment with it and have fun. Um, you can uh, easily see how you can change fills and things like that just by going ahead and adding another uh, timeline, another interaction timeline, uh, and changing one of those other properties. Until the next time, have fun designing with Pine Grow.